When ADAS.SGE stumbled upon a new braised pork rice, Lu Ro Fan joined Call SHY Kitchen at Tanjong Pega Plaza Market Food Center, we were intrigued by its cute storefront. The store opened in mid September this year and is run by Chinese national Tina Song, 51, and her Singaporean husband, Ken Ong, 56, who was born and raised in Singapore but is of Taiwanese descent. The name SHY Kitchen has nothing to do with its owners being shy. Instead, Tina says it's just an abbreviation of her Chinese name. Tina has yet to obtain her PR status since relocating to Singapore 13 years ago to marry Ken. Prior to opening SHY Kitchen, she worked at a noodle shop here for four years and a Korean restaurant for two years where she learned how to cook and tend the shop. Meanwhile, Ken used to work as a mechanical engineer but has since quit to work full-time as a hawker. The duo, who work at the store full-time, say they've been wanting to open a hawker stall since a few years ago. But the timing was always wrong and they couldn't secure a spot with a suitable location till now. The couple explain that they decided to sell the popular Taiwanese dish because Ken shuttled in and out of Taiwan for work for over 10 years. So, they have an affinity for Taiwanese food. Naturally, it helps that Ken is also of Taiwanese descent. Tina does most of the cooking, though she got the recipe from Ken, who says it was inspired by his late Taiwanese grandmother's rendition of the dish. Ken has fond memories growing up eating his grandmother's cooking. As a child, he'd observe his grandmother cooking when he wasn't outside playing. While Granny didn't teach him the recipe per se, Ken remembers the different ingredients his grandmother used to make her braised pork rice. He passed his recipe to Tina, who practiced cooking at home daily for two months, and combined Granny's recipe with tips she found online. In comparison to the OG Taiwanese dish, Tina's is healthier and uses less fatty cuts of meat. She explains that the braised pork rice in Taiwan may be a bit sweeter, oilier and fattier, but Singaporeans may not want to eat it with so much fats, especially since a lot of customers here are younger office ladies who don't dare to eat calorific food. Shy Kitchen's best sellers are their braised pork set $6.30 and braised pork shank set $7.30. Besides these, they also offer a braised pork rib set $8.30 and the more luxe Iberico Pig's Cheek set $11.30, while non-pork options include the chicken over rice set $6.30 and braised cabbage set $6.30. 8days.sge tried the classic braised pork set, as well as a sample portion of the braised pork shank. Our bowl of braised pork rice was savoury and a tad sweet. It came with a generous portion of fresh pork chunks doused in a rich soy-based gravy. The pork was melt in the mouth and tender. Though the hawkers say they used leaner meat, our dish wasn't noticeably healthier and was still quite fatty. While it's not the cheapest bowl of hawker style Lu, Ro Fan around. This hearty portion comes with bok choy, half a slightly gooey yolk, boiled egg, and a side dish of braised cabbage, carrots, and tau pok to make it a filling meal. Pretty good value for money. We sample a petite portion of the braised pork shank pictured above, you get a larger portion with rice in the actual set. The fat street pork shanks, capped with skin, were soft and gelatinous, though less flavorful than the gravy soaked braised pork chunks. Pity we didn't get to taste this more at us Iberico pork bowl cooked with slices of fresh black pork from Spain. Something you'll see more often in restaurants than hawker stalls. Though the meat is pricier, Tina says she decided to include it on her menu as she really likes this dish and wants more people to be able to try it.